Ladies and gentlemen, this is your awesome host here. It is Team Rari. Viewers, how are you doing on this gorgeous Friday's edition? I am doing super. Anywho, let's cut to the chase, my lovely viewers, and I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some to drink. Now, if you don't do that part, maybe you want to look a villain and hear my Sorry, my opinions, my thoughts on this matter. And the article will be down below. Let's roll this. Now, we have not seen Brock Lesnar since he lost his universal title against Seth freaking Rollins at Mania 35. And I'm so glad that he's not on Raw right now. I guess he took some time off with... Paul Heyman. Alrighty then, here is the latest about Brock Lesnar. Alrighty then, Brock Lesnar currently run with WWE might not be over just yet because even after WrestleMania, it says that he slays for the next. You know, event overseas, I cannot really pronounce it. I'm sorry. There is a reason why he likes to keep his contract short, too. Okay, now, let me discuss about freaking Lesnar. His first run with the company was very dominated. Of course, he was a full time wrestler. He was. Awesome, and then his second run, he dominated again when he beat John Cena. How many times he suplex him? What, 14 times at SummerSlam 2014? That match was uneven. That match, John Cena had no chance in hell to beat the Beast. And he beat John Cena for his belt in the rest of his history. At that time, he held that belt all the way through... WrestleMania 35, and that is a very long time. You know, you had a lot of great competitors after John Cena, but for some reason, W do want to give it to Samoa Joe, um, Roman Reigns. Well, Roman Reigns had his opportunity, but it was not his time. Um, Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, the list goes on and on and on. Brock Lesnar is like um, a beast, and he is a beast. He beats everyone in his path, everyone, since his second run in the company. And it makes me mad because these superstars who's on Raw and Smith Alive works 365 days a year, and Lesnar has a part-time contract, and he's a still the Universal Champion. Way before he lost to um, Seth Frick Rollins and Mania 35. That really pisses me off. And in that match, I don't know if it was just me, Lesnar did not really put 110% in that match. Frick and Rollins did. And I don't know if he was bitter because he lost or if he was mad because it was the first match of the card and not the main event. It don't matter. If you were the main event, the first match of the card, you should put your 110% of the match. Because it's freaking WrestleMania. And people want to see you to perform your best, you know. I was not too happy with Lesnar's performance. What about you, you know. It seemed like he don't give a crap about the WWE regardless. He just kept out one thing. One thing only is making money. How much money does he need? Jesus. He needs to hang it up permanently. He's definitely a W future Hall of Famer. Whenever that happens, if he accepts it. Same thing with Sable. She needs to be a Hall of Fame. If she accepts it, if they call her, maybe she'll be in the Hall of Fame next year in 2020. Who the hell knows? 
And maybe her and her husband will go in a Hall of Fame together. We'll find out next year. It's way too early to discuss about next year's Hall of Fame class. Um, so, I mean, I have no problem with Lesnar whatsoever. I mentioned this time after time after time, like a broken record, that he didn't need that belt his second running whatsoever because he's a part-timer, you know? I don't mind. He's like a special attraction like Taker is. Taker don't have the belt that long when he's off TV. If he was, I don't remember. So, I think W just suck up to Lesnar. You know, I think McMahon suck up to Lesnar. Or maybe it's the other way around. Who knows? So, it's just bad. Um, bad. Um, they don't. They always focus on Lesnar, you know. And it don't look like Lesnar and Finn Balor are ever going to meet again. You know, for a match for Lesnar's universe belt because Lesnar lost to Finn. No, he lost to Seth Rollins at Mania. And it really pissed me off how they treat Finn Balor, you know. He had one opportunity against the Beast. Was it at the Royal Rumble? And he lost, and he never capitalized again. And now he's the Intercon champion two times. So hopefully one day he'll become the you know, first champion. I know a lot of you don't like Finn Balor. That's fine and dandy. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here. Let me know what you think about the article. I will definitely be back tonight. Like, subscribe, see, leave a comment. Sorry. Hit the notification. All the information will be down below. Even my awesome... Um, social media, so check them out, please. Don't hesitate to check them out. So we'll see you time. See you sometime tonight. Later.